The goals, terrific. I've got to ask you about that celebration because the Cove went absolutely nutso for you, brother. Talk <laughs> us through that. Oh, it's been a while. I've been waiting to get the shimmy out. Um, Kingy, <laughs> Kingy was actually chatting to me during the week and said, I've got to get out if I score. So there you go, Joel King. <laughs> <laughs> Max, uh, congrats on a uh, fantastic performance. Really great to see you back playing football. There was a, a couple of concerning moments just before halftime. You went down, looked like you were grabbing it, maybe a groin or a hammy, uh, but you came good. Uh, is the body OK? That's the most amount of minutes you've played in quite some time. Uh, yeah, no, nah, body's OK. Body, body's OK. It's been a really tough uh, start to the season personally, um, just with some groin stuff and um, just my hammy tendon. Um, but, yeah, it seemed to actually sort of get a second win there in the second half. Um, and I think that's just because we sort of had a bit more control. Um, but, yeah, I must say the medical team's done an unbelievable job with me over the last eight weeks. Um, just amazing job. So I want to give them a shout-out. They've been brilliant. Now, Max, you were fantastic going forward today. I, I thought in the first half you're, you're drifting inside into those midfield positions uh, very well as an extra 10 and extra Caceres. Um, was that something that... It spoke about at half time because I thought you were getting in those positions and didn't receive the ball enough. When you did get it, you created a goal. Was it something you said to the guys at half time? Look, find me. I'm in the mood. I'm, I'm enjoying being back. Or is it just natural? You just drifted around and got on it. I was drifting around a bit first half. To be fair, I think the the uh, spaces opened up a little bit more in the second half, as it, tend, it tends to do most games. Um, but we did. We got a bit of video up at, at half time, and I was actually not in the pocket enough as I was supposed to be. So um, I think that's more on myself. To be fair. Um, but yeah, we wanted to sort of create that box midfield with the two tens coming in and, and get our Perko high and wide. And I thought he had a brilliant game, Courtney Perkins. He's come over. Uh, he's been brilliant since he's come in. So yeah, we just wanted to overload that central area. And I think as the game went on, uh, we sort of found the pockets a little bit more and, and sort of dominated really. Now, the other side of the coin, you're not having any problems going forward. It's been 15 games, A-League games, since you've got a clean sheet. How much is Ulfi going to enjoy that tonight? There's plenty of young players out there, and I must admit, right to the last minute until you got that second goal, I think Girdwood Reich was going to pick you for the three points. So, uh, <laughs> how is Ulfi going to take that? And it's great to see so many young players spread out throughout this team. Yeah, it's been brilliant. It's been brilliant. Obviously, we've been really tested this season with injuries and, and suspensions and that sort of thing. Um, and Jake, he's been brilliant, so adaptable. You know, he can play anywhere on the field and he's been doing a great job at centre-back, so credit to him. Um, and that's big for us, get a clean sheet. Obviously, championships are built on defence um, and we want to press from the front where we take risks, uh, as you can see, and, and it's good to sort of get one at home tonight and, um, and yeah, Ulfie will be pretty happy. OK, and then next cab off the rank, uh, a pretty decent side in Melbourne victory. How important is that to get a, a performance like that under your belt and how much are you looking forward to, to getting one back on them because they've had the wood on you guys so far this year? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Big blue special to be, be a part of, uh, especially down there. Um, so looking forward to it. Hopefully we've got a bit of confidence after this week and I think that's four wins in five. Dave, yeah? Um, so that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, we'll build on that and um, we'll rip in. Oh, he's got Dave Warren with him just to make sure the stats the are A-OK. The, -okay. the goat, he knows all about it. Mate, you were the goat tonight. Congratulations on a cracking performance. And, mate, that shimmy, I know it's been a while, but you, you got to rock it and it was excellent. I just tried one in studio and it was awful. So, well done to you. And we'll yeah, hopefully see you more next week on the, on the park. Thanks, mate.